All right. Happy Sunday to anybody who will be watching this on Sunday. We're going to play some Dismantle. So if there's anybody that is very astute among you and have been following me in this journey, uh, it's part 7 and on my channel it stops at part 5. The reason is part 6 is not not uh, uploaded yet. There is a boss fight in uh, part 6. Uh, and so now what I'm trying to do is uh, get better gear to go into um, this place here where it's cold and better gear to go here where, it, where it's hot. So there's a bus here too. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I'm trying to get some mats, of course, to be able to uh, get stronger. Um, uh, for now, I think we're gonna go... Uh, we're gonna go south. We're gonna go to... Um, here. Let's target this bonfire, and then we'll try to go get that thing here. So yeah, since uh, I last streamed, um, I updated quite a bit of things. And now, as you can see at the bottom right, I can heal myself, which is, which is nice. I started to do some farming. Upgrade in my uh, crowbar and got a bit more uh, accustomed to the fighting in this game. So, what I used to do is roll around a lot. I guess it's the Dark Soul player in me. But you can just move back a little and you're fine. So, it is what it is. You, you learn. Did I listen to this one? Oh yeah. E13 and U7 at all cost. Do not enter. This is an automated recording sent from K23. Trust me, station. we're going to enter anyway. Oh yeah, so this is uh, a no-go. Um Guess I'll have to. Uh, well, all right. How did I win there then? If it, if I can't. I guess I went here. I really need to put markers because uh, I'm getting, I'm getting very lost. I made a few more recipe. So I got some permanent bonus, which is good. Now I need iron. I don't know if this thing will give me iron. Nope, just scraps. Oh well. But yeah, I'm still. Uh, I don't know how, how how long I've been playing. Let's let's look. There's a progress bar. Six hours, fifty-two minutes. So. And as you can see, I still have a long way to go, if I look at the progress. So we are about 7 hours in, and uh, it's it's just getting better. That, that's, that's it. It's better every day. I'm not even playing uh, Tales of Vesperia. I really want to, though. It's just, you know... If I play this, I don't have time to play uh, other stuff. You have to choose when your time is limited. I guess everybody's time is limited. We all have um, different obligations. Those guys, you want to stay close to them so they, they don't throw that green stuff at you. Oh, hi, Ishan. 
Welcome to the stream. I think it's kind of late for you, but um, I'm doing what I can here. Uh, are we progressing? At least. I want to go here. We are still quite a bit, quite a bit away. Oh man, are you getting, uh, are you getting up early in the morning? Because uh, 11 p.m. is kind of, it's kind of late. A gyroscope. No idea what what this do. And so the the blue um, the blue things, those things, um, I'm getting them because I activated the link tower to not respawn monsters. So once they're dead, they stay dead for that particular area, and they give me those beads. I guess we could call this. I don't know. This. Seems I forgot to take them. But yeah, as you can see, this dude is staying dead now. 8 a.m. Alright, it's not too bad. I get up at 5.45 a.m. Pretty much every morning because, uh, because of work. 8 a.m. is pretty good. 8 a.m. is like um, my uh, schedule for... The week. Yeah, I'm quite an early bird and um, and that's that's why I uh, tine, tend to uh, go to bed early. Like 10, 10 30 p.m. is pretty much the, the day is pretty much done. On the weekend, of course, I'm getting up a bit late but when you're used to go to bed early it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard we watched a movie yesterday we got uh, we went to bed pretty late we were we watched cry macho from uh, not from by uh, clean taste wood it was oh no I won't I don't want to kill oh there I've put you out of your misery um, it was all right, but man, Clint is uh, <laughs> is getting old. I think that's the least we can say. Uh, he's like 92 years old now, I think, and uh, it shows. Uh, the the um, the last thing I've watched from him was Gran Torino, and. Um, you know, he was old, but he was able to walk. Uh, now it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it was uh, it was not bad, but I think uh, Clint uh, did what he could. I think a, a, a movie I, I watched. Um, in the past few weeks, that was pretty good. Was um, oh, Derry, hi, welcome to the stream and welcome to Sunday, I guess. Um, a movie I, I liked is um, that we watched recently. Were um, huh. Uh, I guess I'll take doctor. My mom wish I was a doctor, I'm sure. Let's take let's take that. And uh, as you can see, I um, unlocked quite a bit of things. Uh, this ear is to be able to uh, walk faster. Uh, I have something to help me with the heat. Uh, I have some pills to get back some health. Um, so I, I did a few things. I did that thing, which uh, 
allows me to, uh, with the link towers, I can stop enemies from respawning. And they give me mana beads. That's what it's called. Um, so yeah. So it's getting it's getting pretty pretty well unlocking stuff. I don't know Derry if you saw it. I'm gonna show you. Uh, there's um there's something that tracks your progress. So I've been playing for six hours and fifty eight minutes, and uh, with the main quest I have forty one percent of stuff done. But as you can see, it's still pretty low. It sounds to me that uh, it's a 40 hour game at least so so yeah so to go back to the movies uh, I've seen old from uh, I, I won't be able to say his name but it's uh, you know Shai Yamalan or something like that um, Those guys don't even scare me anymore. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's good. It's a bunch of people that go in to to uh, um, to the beach, and this is a very weird beach where times passed super fast. So they're getting very old very fast, and uh, it's it, it's a great. Um, it's a great. Uh, how can I say? It gives you some perspective about. Uh, it makes you think about life and how time passes. I guess that's that's what I'm trying to say. It was good. It was a very very nice surprise. You know, I I work. Uh, I guess you all know this by now, but in case some people don't know I work in uh, I am a librarian and um, I am in charge of cataloging uh, music f movies video games and comic books that's pretty much uh, what I'm doing and so um, I tend on the weekend to uh, bring back home some of the things that I think are are interesting that I'm curious about so Sometimes it's a movie, sometimes it's a game, sometimes it's a book. Um, yeah, librarians are pretty cool. I agree, Derry. And uh, so yeah, old was a pretty, uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice discovery. Was happy about that. Uh, I've watched. Yeah, shut up, you. Those guys were were very scary, but I mean they still hurt. See, I got hit once and like what a third of my health gone. So yeah. Okay, now I'm just running in circle. There's a boss here that we could try. Um, this is here. It's um, fuel for the. The little shuttle I need to take to get off of the island. So I need to get four uh, fuel thing. I don't remember how it's called. Uh, fuel cell. I need four fuel cells. And there's one here, one up there, one here, and here. So uh, I guess I guess I need to go get that that boss. Let's let's try this. And I wish I could um, activate the link tower so enemies stop respawning. Ben. Okay, it's not going like I've planned. Those are some quests that you can do, but let's not do that right now. Quests like uh, kill. X amount of uh, zombies in X amount of seconds. Those are obelisk. I need to investigate them in some way, but I don't think I have. Uh, I don't think I have what I need right now. Oh come on! There's many of them. I really need to uh, 
to find the thing to stop them from respawning because that's going to be a pain. Okay. Uh, what are the spiky giant sea urchin things? Uh, they're annoying. I don't know. It's uh, there was a memo at some place where they talked about uh, weird vegetation, and I think that's the least we can say. I'm gonna go back to the campfire and um, refill my health because it's it's not going very well. I don't think I've used the right path to go where I wanted to. Okay, so it's here. I need to come here. All right. I haven't seen any link tower. I guess it's this one, but there's water all over the place. I think I need to go by this place to go back there. That's what I believe. Uh, all right, L let's try this again with. Uh, Oh, I know what I can do. Wait. I have this thing here. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I can't remove it. Because uh, if I remove it, the heat is going to kill me pretty fast. Because I have this here, which um, enemies don't see me as much, so I can be quite sneaky. I'm going to take the pills instead. Because they, they refills me faster. All right. Now let's try to be super sneaky. I guess it's not going that well. All right. No, not you. Ah. Oh. It's going pretty bad. Man, I need just to go there. Here. Guess I could go here too. I can't remember. I only went there once. Saw there was a bus and thought, nah, you know what? No. It's pretty much how it went. I'm always getting lost in this game. This is kind of annoying. Okay. Can I go here? Alright. Quiet. Uh, Maybe they've stopped chasing me. And this is not the place I wanted to go. I feel like that time I was uh, trying to uh, go outside the evacuation site and I was so lost. Okay, the bus is here. Okay. And I need health. I'm gonna die. It's pretty... Oh, come on. Oh yes! All right, was well, not too bad. Um, and this is my corpse from earlier. Uh, 
I guess it's cool that I've killed him, but uh, I don't feel that uh, it's opening me a lot of possibilities. Man, I want a bonfire right now. Oh, there's a radio here. I love those radio uh, message. Please remain indoors and refer to your Cobalt Manual, page 27, for instructions. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Seems I don't have that manual. Um. Guess we're gonna go here. If you see a- oh! This is a tower. Yeah, good, good. I should build some defenses first. Oh, I think that will uh, interest Derry to know that there is a build feature. Uh, it's not complete yet from what I've understood. Um, uh, it's gonna be in a future update, but there is building. For now, you can mostly build uh, turrets. And, oh, I found a few of those, too. Um, it's the same type of shelter I was in, so I wonder if there's any other survivor. The mystery uh, gets more and more deep. And see, if I stay here too long, I'm gonna die. I need better uh, heat protection. So no bonfire? Seriously? Let's try then here. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, but I can't. See? I don't have any health anymore, Ishan. I am... It is... It is what it is. I'm gonna die. I can't go here. There's nowhere I can go, right? I'm... This is a bridge you can lower down if you're on the other side, so that's going to be a shortcut at some point. I can fast travel now from uh, not those type of tower, but there's a type of tower I can uh, travel to. Fast travel is great, because the map, uh, it might not seem seem that big but if you look at the map I've been playing for seven hours and this is what I've seen so far so yeah it's kind it's kind of daunting when you uh, when you think about it uh, I would prefer not to die because I have quite a bit of stuff on me Let's try to survive. Uh, the closest place I can heal up is here. This is where we're gonna go. Oh, and we're gonna unlock this. We're saved. Good night, Derry. See you tomorrow. Thanks for uh, passing by. Appreciate it.
Alright, so... I guess at some point I'm gonna be able to destroy those, but not for now. I don't see... I don't see how I can get past this. So... I'm gonna go here instead. Guess I'll have to move all the way around. Let's try to be sneaky. Oh, Derry, you're staying then. All right. I've misread. It was pretty late for uh, for Ishen. It was like 11 p.m. So. Well, the nice thing I said about you, go to Ishan then. I mean, I'm happy you, you, you're still here. What I mean is uh, the thank you for passing by. Um, this map is pretty much like a maze. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, I'm not that good at uh, reading and playing at the same time. That's why there's kind of quite a bit of delay in between uh, when you say something and when I read it. The setup I have is uh, I'm playing the game on my phone and uh, I'm uh, looking at the chat on an iPad. Because for some... I, I wish... Um, I wish I could make the chat appear on my phone, but I haven't found any setting that lets me do that. I wish I could have a little pop-up, you know, on the screen, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I'm lost. Let's, let's be honest. Oh yeah, I think here the issue is that it's uh, it's the heat. Overground house. Yeah, I came here before. I came here and I'm still stuck because... There's water, and we know that water is the end boss of this game. I wish I could jump. So yeah, I, I tried to go here, and uh, it didn't work. I will be able to destroy this wall at some point, but not for now. So I guess, guess we can go There's there's a radio to listen to. Let's let's go here. Humans evolved from cats in this game. <laughs> yeah, probably. That 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 would be quite the uh the, the plot twist. We were all cats. And we've evolved as human in bunkers. Maybe the only thing we had to eat was cat food. Mm, those guys are annoying though. He won't come back. 
Uh, where's the radio? I'm here for the lore. And to, to, to be honest, it's kind of... Um, what would be the right word? Uh, there's something relaxing in just destroying everything. Well, everything you can. The maintenance is now conducting a scheduled inspection of the wall systems. You will need to comply with their orders. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> I found another uh, myth tablet with some lore. I'm gonna upload this on my uh, on my channel when I'm done with it. I I've made a video about um, it's gonna premiere tomorrow, uh, and um, <laughs> I'm am kind of happy with. Uh, I mean, the video. Uh, I'm not a uh, I'm not a YouTuber really. I'm not that good at making videos, but I enjoy it. That's for sure. But anyway. Um, I'm happy with the the first minute of this video. Uh, I think I, I think I did a good job. So I'm looking forward to the premiere tomorrow. It's about um, it's about gaming companies that steals your money, but mostly about seven companies that won't steal your money that that are working for you. You know that have the player in mind. And um, yeah, I've read, I, I've watched a few videos about uh, Diablo Immortal and how it's monetized. The game looks looks fine to be honest, but the monetization looks pretty, uh, pretty predatory. And um, yeah, making videos is indeed a lot harder than it looks. Uh, the, the, the video is like 8 minutes long and it took me like 2 days of, you know, not 2 too, uh, too full work days, but still 2 days. Where I've put pretty much all of my free time in making that, so... Yeah, it's harder than it looks. But... Um, yeah, I've seen some videos about Di Diablo Immortal and how it's predatory and th there's a YouTuber that made the math to try and find how much does it cost to get the best gear right now. And it was over a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, what, what game is worth one hundred thousand dollars? There's many games that I love that I would never pay, you know. I mean, I don't have the, the means to pay $100,000, but... Man, for $100,000, uh, you have a half of a house. It's, I mean, uh, you know, a house is pretty cool. You can have three cars for $100,000. Three new, brand new cars. So who's gonna... It's, it's so dumb and there's a lot of people and I, I kind of agree with that that hey it's my money I can do what I want with it and yes it, it's true but when Blizzard will see how much they can make with this free to play Diablo what do you think Diablo 4 with, will look like? I mean, that, that's that's where that's where it bugs me. I used to be afraid of you. Now you're just an annoyance on the road. Well, he almost killed me. To be, to be completely honest. But yeah, I, I'm afraid now for Diablo 4, because like it or don't, 
Diablo Immortal is making banks right now. It works. Blizzard is getting money. So, as much as YouTuber will say, oh, uh, it's so bad, people will play it anyway. And they will spend money anyway. So, uh, as long as people spend, they will keep the pressure tactics and microtransactions going. Yes, exactly. And it seems that uh, around me, when I talk about this, most gamers say, yeah, we don't like it, but seems we are a very small portion of that community because when you look at the numbers, it's it's insane, the money they're making. So, so I guess some people are okay with this. This this is the message it sends. Yeah, sure. You know, the, the Blizzard execs will say well sure seems there's a few angry people but man look at those profit numbers seems most gamer don't really care let's go dump our stuff i have a lot of things on me now need to stay close to those guys not give them the opportunity to uh, throw that green garbage at you. And then again, I don't want anybody to feel bad for enjoying Diablo Immortal. Uh, from the videos I've seen, it's, it looks like a pretty good game. Honestly, it looks like it plays well. Pretty impressive for a mobile game. Looks great, seems it's it's playing good. So if you enjoy it, I mean life is short. You should try to to do things you you enjoy in the end. I never succeeded at opening this. I don't understand how it works. Yup, I've played in games where the average outfit cost around $60, and the really fancy ones were several hundred each. This is just cosmetics, and you would not believe the number of people wearing them. Yes, exactly! So, uh, the message it's sending, it's, it's cool, man. Gamers like this, because they, they are paying. And it's just cosmetic, so you chose to buy it just to look cool. It's not even something required to progress. It's kind of insane. Two of them. All right. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know the game U Utopia. Yeah, Utopia is kind of amazing in the amount of freedom it gives the player. That's for sure. They. they you can even climb on the trees. I was quite impressed when I when I first played Utopia. There's the building aspect. It's it's very nice. But w once again, it's a game that is unfortunately. Um, all right, what is this? It's unfortunately uh, brought brought down by the monetization. What is this? Should I should I just crowbar this guy or does he want to show me something? There's quite a bit of um 
I would say environ environmental. Can say that word. You know, storytelling by showing you stuff. There was some rocks. Oh, see, he's telling me to uh, to dig. Do I have my shovel? Oh, I don't have the shovel. Oh man, that sucks. Can I equip it? Or do I need to be at the bonfire? Okay, good, good. I'm sure he was showing me to dig here. Haha! <laughs> Is this what you wanted me to find? There's a lot of stuff in the, like that. Um, earlier today there was a um, an arrow made of rocks. And uh, if you dug there, you would get some treasures. I like that type of uh, of things. Uh, very much so, after you stop playing, they added a new tier of weapon, and the grind for them is absolutely insane. Yes, and it's insane because it, if it was doable, you wouldn't have to pay to go faster to get it. It's there's nothing left to uh, uh, I don't know the word, but um, uh, in French it's azar, but um, in English hazard is not like chance. You know, it's a dangerous place. So. But y yeah, nothing is random. They they they're putting those obstacles in games for you to pay to overcome them. It's pay to not be inconvenienced. In most of those games, uh, when you think about it, it's not like, uh, oh, uh, it's a very nice gameplay mechanics to have to wait for an hour to this building to be complete. No, it's not It's not to make the game good, it's to make you pay for it to be instantly done. There's nothing like... It, it's not It's not for gameplay. It's to get your, your money. That's, that's why they do it. And once again, devs needs money. Server cost money. Nothing is free. I've seen the other day on Reddit. I'm oh, I'm spending a bit too much time, I guess, on Reddit. But uh, I was on the iOS gaming subreddit, and there was somebody asking, like, "Oh, I'm looking for a super good game with uh, nice graphics, tight gameplay, deep mechanics, good story, but I want it free and uh, without ads." I was like, yeah, well, <laughs> you, uh, I mean, you want a good game, but you don't want to pay for it, and, you know, it's kind of not how it works, I'm afraid. So easy to lose several hours on there. Yeah, Reddit is, uh, I like Reddit. It's got its flaws for sure, but... Um, I could equip some stuff for cold and go to the cold place. That would make a change of scenery. Can I craft something? Double the backpack slot carry capacity for common... Oh, this is good though. I need wood. Alright. But iron, right now, iron uh, is very valuable because I need it for quite a few important things. Mm. Can I make this? Alright, we're gonna make this. Cold protection. That's gonna help us. Let's remove that and put that instead. And can I make... This is heat protection? This is not what I want. Uh, I need hide for cold protection. Uh, Alright. I guess we'll go with that. 
What is a gyroscope? Oh, we don't know. Oh no, okay. Uh, stabilize footing during circular movement patterns. Strafing speed 10%. Hmm. I'm gonna keep my iron for now. Uh, Alright, let's try and go north. Like around those parts. Well, let's go to this bonfire. Or could I s fast travel there? Okay, let's go there. I'm gonna fast travel up to. Oh no. Okay. We're gonna go on foot. Although the air never gets warmer, your body is now protected against the elements. Good. Progress. This is a well done open world game. Uh, there's something to see and do everywhere. I don't know, Derry, if you've played. Uh, now, this, this is very old. Um, I don't know if you've played Daggerfall. It was like Elder Scroll 2. Back in the day, it was the biggest game I think ever made in terms of uh, map size. It was big. You, you could walk for hours to get to the next city. But during the walk, there was absolutely nothing to do. It was just empty. You would walk and walk up to the next city. Oh, a new, new bonfire. And back in the days, it was great because it was the first super big game, at least to my knowledge, I'm not, you know, a video game historian, but to my knowledge, there was nothing like, like Daggerfall. It was big game. And it was great because it was big. But nowadays, uh, you need a bit more than a big map. Everybody wants to do a big map. But if there's nothing to do in your big map and it's just huge, I mean, it's kind of boring. There's a bunch of open world games that do this. There's gonna give you a huge map, but then there's quest marker and you just have to go to the next point. So you just, you know, go there as fast as you can. Because anyway, there's absolutely nothing to do uh, in between the the quest marker, so... Oops. Man, he's fast! I feel he's faster than... than usual. So I, I like this game. Uh, my son played a bit of uh, Breath of the Wild, of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and uh, it was pretty nice too. There was always something to see or do on the map. I've watched him play quite a bit. It was nice. I've came here before. Done. Could this give me iron? Oh, we have that on the Switch. Yeah, have you played it? Have you played Breath of the Wild? I must admit I didn't play it myself. I just watched my son play. He liked it. It's another game I've brought back from the library, from my work. So we... We kept it from a few weeks. Well, the time we are allowed to, so... But yeah. He liked it. He got kind of stuck in a few places. Uh, bosses are kind of hard. I mean, he's 10 years old, so... Uh, maybe they're not that hard for uh, seasoned video game players, but... It was his first Zelda game ever.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I just, uh, go away? It's funny you mentioned it. I was playing it a little bit right before this. Oh, nice. And I think the bosses are hard. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think from what I've looked, it was kind of hard. He, um, he, he stopped. Well, he stopped because uh, I had to bring the game back to work. Uh, he stopped at the boss in the uh, elephant. I don't know if... I don't want to spoil too much, but... There's an elephant and uh, there's a bus related to that. Oh, this is a bridge I already uh, brought down. Can I go? Yeah, I want to go here. But yeah, he enjoyed it. I think the story was cool. A thing I didn't like too much... Um, then again, I didn't play it. You really have to keep that in mind. Uh, it, it was... The gear was degrading so fast. He, he, he was fighting with a sword, and after like three enemies, the sword would break. And so you always had to have a lot of weapon in your uh, inventory. Maybe he didn't do it the right way, I don't know. But I thought it was kind of annoying to always lose your weapon. Maybe at some point later on you get weapon that don't... Uh, don't degrade, but I haven't gotten there yet. My kid might have. She's played a lot more than I have. Yes, it drives me nuts. That's why I don't play it much. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm not alone then. Uh, XP. Oh, I'm gonna take fighter. Midi damage plus five percent. I want that. So yeah, I'm not alone, and. At some point, I don't, I don't hate a weapon that breaks over time. But give me, give me more than three, three enemies. It was just going too fast. Yes, uh, you have a very limited inventory for weapon too. Yeah, I agree. Uh, their inventory is quite small, and w once again, maybe, maybe you can upgrade that and get more inventory space. I don't know. So that's why I, I don't want to um, hit on the game too much because uh, I didn't play it really, and we only had. My son only played for maybe 10 hours or so, so... Man, it's not going well now. Oh, well... Shit happens, I guess. Infinite, But an infinite one for other stuff, yeah? It's true that it's kind of weird. You could store as much food as you want. But not weapon. Kind of feel bad for killing dogs, but uh, they're, they're bad dogs, all right. They're, they're zombie dogs. And they give me hide, and I need hide. I haven't played it much either, but my kid has played it a lot. She says that later the weapon lasts longer, but they still do break. Yeah. Well, if they last longer, I guess. I guess it's it's better, but... I, don't th I thought it was a weird choice to 
make it break so fast. Uh, oh, I could go there, I think. That's good. Let's go save here. Gotta, gotta make your dog hat. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So I can manage those, uh, those... I guess they are more wolves than dogs. I can manage them if they're alone. In group, it's it's hard. Can I break? Yeah, good. There, shortcut. Oh no, th this. Oh, 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 I don't think I've ever killed one of those yet. Uh. Uh. I panicked and I uh, played poorly. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Yeah, so close. I know, right? I was was hoping to be able to. Uh, Open the door and close it behind me. Can destroy this. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to not go in the same way I came before. Good. The bonfire was right there. It was cruelty by the devs. Cruelty, yes! I agree, but um, the dev in this game made quite a few uh, interesting choices, like putting some materials you need right behind the... Um oh, shit. Oh man, that's not going very well. <clears throat> Immortality is out of bounds. It's a one ride, one round ride. Seems our uh, character seems to be aware he's dying and respawning. <laughs> Let's try this once again. I don't want to come from the same place. Oh, it's not it's not a lot better this way to be to be honest. Uh where's the bonfire? Is it around here? No, not at all. It's here. I came from here last time too. All right. I don't want to go there. I'm gonna run around. I don't know what happens after a certain number of days. Now it's day seven. I don't know uh, if something special happened after. What I'm trying to say is, do I have some time limit to? So yeah, so now I can fast travel to those, and I can activate this. So if I activate this, it costs three mana, uh, one mana beads, and six. Uh, electronic parts and it stopped monsters from respawning 
and then they give me mana beads. So I like that. There, it's installed. So now, when monster dies, they will stay dead. In this area, but I don't know what what they mean exactly by area. Is this all of this place? Or is this just... I'm not sure. I guess the areas are... Uh, those lines on the map. I guess it's in this. Anyway. I like to know monsters won't respawn. Okay, so... I want to go here. There, this one, it will stay dead. And seems my cold protection is not good enough. I could try to make a run for it. Yeah, let's try. Just to see what's there. Okay, I... C can I? Yes. I heard some pretty bad people were kept in here. Did you make the hat? Um, yeah, this hat. This hat would help me a lot, but I still need four hide to make it. Um, this one is not for cold, and this one is for heat. Yeah, heat protection. I want this hat, but I need four hide, so I need to get to get some dog killed. Oh, there's a radio somewhere here. If you know me, you know I love lore. Uh, quiet. Let's listen. Martial law has been declared to cover the western part of the island. We will have the situation under control in no time. This is an automated <laughs> report sent from K20 uh, ground station. This recording aged like milk. I think that's that's the way of saying. I wish I had door in my house that works both ways. It's kind of it's kind of nice. I don't know if it exists. I need the borealis corrective key. Uh, I don't have that. Um Okay, well. Now, a thing that might not be to my advantage is that I activated the thing that monsters don't respawn. So, we're gonna have to find dogs the hard way. We can't just farm the same. Search the office. The office. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, well, it, <laughs> that was uh, alright, alright. The gate that leads further into the prison has been locked. Search for the key around other parts of the building. Okay, I want the key. Prison breaking. Let's, uh, let's dismantle some stuff. Yeah. 
your that was the recording read it seems the key is at Curtis Field North situation got so bad that all the survivors were evacuated there can I read that again Curtis Field right, right. well seems it's gonna be not here Surely I can read that again. Uh, travel to Curtis Field North. Yeah, alright, well. I need to find some dogs. Try to go north, I guess. Uh. Uh. I, I need dogs. I need to uh, kill some dogs before. Now I wish they would respawn. Once you get the hang of combat, uh, it's very not that hard. Oh, come on. Little Otter. Hey! I think we've found the... Uh, Villagers and Heroes Dev Office. Let's see if we can uh, find some secret patch notes for what's to come. I just need your uh, your skin, right? All right, three more to go. Oh no, they've turned into zombies. Yep, I think uh, maybe this will give me hide. Yup. All right. I'm sorry, but uh, oh. Okay, so so now we have two means of getting hide. Oh, can I go and lower the bridge? Or no, it's on the other side. Ooh, a recording. <laughs> the name of this town reminds me of a certain myth. Uh, what is the name of this town? Little Otter? Yeah, well, maybe it's the myth of uh, of Maddox coming back. 
because my luck <laughs> seems won't come back anytime soon. I wish we could get um, some new uh, Black Rush stuff in Villagers and Heroes. It was a very interesting storyline to follow and it kind of dies when you're elf through it. So... Trade to the wilderness cabin. Ha! Some hide giver. Or not. Yes, we need the fit in part where the main quest is missing. Yeah, it's it's something that is re requested quite often by uh, by new players because they get invested and they hey, well, where's the rest of the quest? Well, there's no rest of the quest. It picks back up at level 50 and it's not even related. Sorry, tough luck. Come on. No hide, man. Uh, let's dig. Oh, of course, I'm full of stuff. Uh, I don't want this. I prefer that. Alright. I know it's cold. I'm trying to make you a hat right now. Oh, only one more to go. And I think that's going to be the last thing I'll do in this stream. I'm going to make the hat and then I'm going to call it a day. I have other stuff I need to do before the before a new week begins. Yay. I'm going to have some uh, some days off in June because uh, the 24th of June is the uh how can I say um it's the it's a national day it's national Quebec day let's put it that way so I'm going to have going to have a few days off because it's holidays <coughs> I would prefer not to die right now. Yep, very fun. And uh, <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to say back in my days, but um, it, 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 some people were, uh, how can I say, celebrating very, very hard. Like uh, there was cars on fire in the street. And I'm not even kidding. But with the uh, with the years, it's it's now more uh, controlled. It's it's better. But yeah, quick! Oh man, that was close. Oh boy! All right. Oh man. Okay. So, yep. Only one hide. Need only one hide. And then we're done. Ha! You seem like somebody who would give me hide. No. Mm. Ha! Ha! <laughs> 
Oh man, okay. I didn't have any hide anyway. And we're pretty close. It's not that. Oh, you! Come on. Oh, yes! Yeah, they used to set couches on fire in the street every time of our football team won. Every time our football team won. So I believe the cars... <laughs> yeah, the car on fire thing, yeah. People get crazy when they're in a group. You only need one person to do a stupid thing, then... You have the rest of the crew coming in. That's unfortunate. But that's how humans are done. Okay, so... It's time for the fur hat. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down the button right now. Go. Oh, yes. Let's put that on and see how cool or uncool I look. <laughs> well, alright, alright. Now, we should be good with the cold. And with that, I'm gonna do uh, some house chores that, believe it or not, involve the crowbar. We're gonna need to uh, destroy a kind of an old garden thing that the uh, prior uh, owner of the house had made outside. Anyway. So, uh, thank you, Derry, for being here with me. We had some nice conversation. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload that on YouTube. So, people won't have missed all of our nice finds. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a, have a nice rest of your day. Bye.